Hi guys, here I am again. Well, I'm going to show you today that uh, I'm starting to paint um, on my apparel and fashion accessories. And I'm starting with my bags, purses. I have a lot of other, other things that I'm going to create for my online store and I'm just starting my purses. I have so many purses and <clears throat> this one is a sling bag, it's a fashion sling bag. So um, this is the usual place now that I'm going to be working um, where it's outside since the weather is kind of warm and sometimes nice and it's a fresh air because I'm surrounded by trees and plants and garden beautiful flowers and as you know I also started my vegetable garden a herbal garden first and it is one in one of my um, videos out there if you can find it so here now I am um, starting to do this sling bag and it's not um, I just started it and uh, I have so many beautiful imagination about it and um, so as anything and everything in life it starts switch scratch and then a little formation here and there and then until you will arrive to the um, culmination of your imagination which is the project the finished product so as of now in here I just started and I want to bring you with me so that you can have some ideas how things like for example this one painting my bags uh, starts so uh, I have a beautiful imagination on this one. I wanted to paint um, poppies, a pink poppies and the leaves and all that. And I am kind of like having fun with it, just taking it easy and um, just let allow your imagination run through it and that you can um, whatever as an artist you can whatever you want to do whatever you want to paint there's no wrong nothing you can make no mistake just not unlike the plants that you really have to follow rules and but a painting in art you don't really have to because it depends on you as the artist. It's all your imagination and you can expand and run wild with it. So here it is. I just started and it's a really a beautiful sling bag. And this is one of my items that I'm going to sell on my online boutique which some of them I will be creating sewing like for example cardigan and I just started my clothing textile from my artwork and I transferred it to a textile that I will be creating so that's also another um, journey that I'm going to share with you but this one I want to share with you how I do the painting it with the material for example the paint it's something that you really have to choose to um, you have to get a paint that is for um, multi-purpose or something for leather or some other mater materials other than the canvas so and then the brush um, we have also I use a specific brush which is kind of like a little harder than the one that I use in the regular canvas. So those are the two things that I I am very careful also following the rules and regulations on painting because otherwise if you are going to use any paint on it it, it might peel off and 
so that would be a disaster so you have to be careful on that area there use the right materials so here I am and you can also do your own painting as long you don't have to follow my design you can have your own design I just gave you an idea about painting in your um, fashion accessories that's where I am going with my painting not all of them I still paint for in a big canvas um, which is designed for galleries but for now um, I will um, like just enjoy where I am right now because I am in transition I am going to uh, be living in a in my retirement place so in there I can do a whole lot with my materials and the things and supplies because especially in painting you have big supplies and many supplies <laughs> so it's kind of like I am bashful or embarrassed to um, use up any space here except the bedroom I'm at my sister's house and um, their son only son has already has already finished college so he's in another uh, living on his own and having you know trying to make a living uh, with the college with the degree that he has graduated from and so there's just left there's just two of them the, their parents the husband and wife and the wife is my sister that is left here and so I have they have some space that I can occupy a room and then this outer area here in the garden is very spacious so I can use up I'm very careful I cover everything and and, and just you know enjoy and um, it's it's a nice place I love it I love the atmosphere I love the love the care that I you know with my sister so I'm happy here so so now here it am. I'm almost finished, but I will do the second uh, segment on this one, on what's the next uh, step. So this is just the first step. So it's the first layer, and even though if it's the first layer, I covered it with another layer, and until I um, arrived to the desired color that I would love to have in that particular in this particular project so you being the artist if you're going to do this you let your imagination fly high there's no limitation so and don't be afraid um, you can cover the mistakes if there are mistakes if you think there are mistakes you can cover it with another paint another design so don't be afraid it's just like life um, you take risk you get hurt you fail so it's just like that it's you know this is a journey the project is a journey so and if we make mistake we can correct them and however it is that the ways the many ways that we can correct them we will do something to make it better to make it look like you know prettier and more presentable so here I am and and right now I'm in the garden so thank you so much guys for coming by here I really do appreciate your support and love and um, if you haven't for those who are new here and please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for you to be notified for new video uploads and I'd love to hear from you every one of you if you can write your comments and I'll surely respond to you the soonest I can and also whatever suggestions you may have but don't forget to like and it would I'll be more than happy if you will share this video with your friends with everyone in your Facebook and all that 
or in Google and things like that. So let's just have fun with life, you know. Uh, life is not easy, but and also we find ways to earn money, whatever it is that we know possible that would help us out, that could give us some um, accomplishments and joy and and help us out financially. Why not, you know? So, just be um, creative and always inspired and give inspiration to others because everyone is carrying a lot of baggages, heartaches, and things like that about life. So sometimes we just have to be creative as well in dealing with all those. That's why we have to have a positive outlook. Um, sometimes we go through a lot of difficulties financially and emotionally. Sometimes we go through hurt from relationships and friendships. Um, we get we go through betrayals and heartaches and many things. So, but the best thing that we can do is to be hopeful and never give up. Instead, you do something to convert our pain, our heartaches, our so it will not go through depression and if we are going on our sadness we can do something about it by doing a lot of things you can go swimming walking running bicycle gardening sewing painting eating <laughs> sleeping um, just a whole lot so this is one of the many things that I do to combat my um, sometimes yeah I don't know with age we go through sadness and uh, maybe depression I don't know hormonal or something but there, well, it's not perfect our life we go through there are people that we love and could hurt us you know they say that no one could hurt us but the ones that we love because if we don't love them we don't care right so and one of the things to cover up or to ease our pain is to be in here doing something and anything so here you i show you the garden this is the garden this is where i work every day almost and uh, well the wisteria has lots of leaves falling all the time so my sister and sometimes me will, you know will sweep them off and later on maybe in the in January I'll show you the flowers here it's beautiful flowers in here but for now I'm just showing you my place here now where I work and it's you know it's it's there's a lot of a breath of fresh air love you guys